Hey guys, welcome back. Now, I'd just like to preface this video by saying I tried to do some in-person speaking and I mixed it up, so you're getting half voiceover and half in-person today. Recently, my friend and I built this model plane and it has been so much fun to fly. However, the front of the plane has gotten rather damaged from all the crashes. This foam that's got damaged is part of the fuselage and therefore it's not easily replaced. The plane flies very well when it works, but that's not always the case. For every good flight, there's at least three crashes. So I went on to Fusion and I tried to design a new nose. I incorporated PLA plastic as well as foam to combine to produce a hybrid structure which allowed the forces to be transferred to a small crush piece of foam that was designed to be easily replaced. This reduces the risk of damage to the fuselage. Here's all the parts printed. So, the first thing we need to do to install these parts is to cut the original nose off. Now, in order to decide where to do this, we have this small paper template. This will mount onto this, I don't know if you can see it. This will mount onto the fuselage doubler, which is the piece of foam inside the plane from the original construction. So here I'm marking out the line that I'm going to cut the aircraft on. So as you can see, I've cut off the original nose from the plane. It's quite damaged actually, but you can see that this piece is separate which has to be glued on. So you can see that the good foam inside as well as the two inner pieces which are going to be mounting everything to are all intact. But before we deal with this, let's deal with the new nose. I used hot glue to assemble the nose as it works well with the foam and the plastic and is easy for repairs in the future. So here you can see the nose halfway assembled. We have the skid plate mounted as well as the two inner arms and the front brace. This should allow for the force to be transferred through the plastic rather than the foam, while still maintaining the absorption of the foam. So here you can see the inside of the plane that's been assembled. Now, it was quite hard to line it all up, but in the end I got it pretty close. So here you can see I added a small piece inside the, no the body to help guide the nose into place. So this all slots together like this. So I thickened the top plate with a little bit of extra foam. This 
when pushed in, allows the plain nose to be a lot firmer in place. So now to mount this plate, it's got to be removable for future access. So I'm thinking about using some tape. It's pretty obvious I'm not used to speaking while recording these things and I'll work on it for the future, but as I get better and as I do more, I know this is just the beginning, so these videos will suck. These side pieces were added to the nose to help smoothen the airflow and to prevent any unwanted effects from the weird shape of the nose. And here's the finished nose, all assembled. Personally I find it is very tidy and it really does help the plane in terms of crashes. The whole system was very fun to design, and I know there could have been a, probably a cheaper, easier way to do this, but this was just an experiment to see what I could really do. And so, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I know these videos aren't the best, but hopefully one day it'll get better <laughs> and as you can see here this is how the new nose is on the plane now i think it's a much better solution because the plane can take impact after impact without damaging the frame and all you have to do to reset it is just push the inside mount back up this allows the nose to be much stronger and allows it to take the impact without damaging the fuselage and should fly just as well So, yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you soon. And just after filming those few flight test videos, the nose works so well, it mounts the plane, and it cracked the tail. So... I guess I'm just going to have to keep fixing this thing. <laughs>